Hello, my name is René Jacob, I am a filmmaker from Germany. Let's assume you have written a fantastic screenplay and you really want to make this movie, but your producer can't really imagine how your film will look like. Okay, you can describe the scenes with flowery words, but would it be not better if you can already show one or several scenes of the story right after you finish the script? Let's assume you have a complicated action sequence during your story. Such a scene must be planned exactly to waste no money. Therefore, pre-visualization in real-time 3D is the best solution you can choose. Reillusion software iClone is the perfect tool for pre-visualization of your planned film scenes. In this video, I am going to show you how this works. First, we load our Leatherface avatar and drop him where we want to start the animation. The easiest way to animate a character is to use predefined motions. iClone provides a lot of motions, but you can increase the variety with motions from the content store. You can also import foreign motions via 3D Exchange. For now, we use the motions from the Classic Horror Pack. Select the avatar and then go to the Animation tab and then to Motion. You can choose your desired motion in the Content Manager. I will take this walk motion, just double click it and the motion will apply. As you can see Leatherface walks, but he stays on the spot. Let's change this. I open the timeline and click on the tab Transform and Motion. This grey rectangle is our applied motion. First we need to extend our animation. This can be achieved with this loop button. Click the motion and then the loop button. Drag the motion as long as you need it and then click the loop button again to leave the loop mode. Now we need to move Leatherface to his next position. In the timeline you can see the transform tab. At the beginning you can see a key. This key determines the starting position. We just set up a new key around 8 seconds and then we move Leatherface right in front of this entrance. So let's play the animation. Now he's walking. Ok, after 8 seconds Leatherface should stop walking, but he doesn't. Ok, let's put our first camera in the scene. Click the tab stage and then camera. In the modify panel you find this add button. Click it. Now we have a camera in the scene. You can see it in the scene manager. Let's rename it to POV. Switch back to preview camera and zoom a little bit out and here it is, our first camera. Now we move this camera right to the head of Leatherface. The camera should see what the avatar sees. If the position is right, go to the modified panel, right here to linkage and click pick parent. Then choose the head of Leatherface. Now the POV camera is linked with the head of the avatar. So let's watch it. Ok, very shaky. So the maximum number of lights are 8 lights. 4 spot or directional lights and 4 point lights. Here I used every light to get the lighting done. Ok, in the scene there are 3 neon tubes. Every tube has a spotlight and an additional point light. Lights can be moved and rotated like any other object, so it is very easy to place them in the scene. At the modify panel you can change the conditions of the light. The multiplier determines how strong the light shines. You can change the color, the range of lighting, the fall off and the angle if you use a spotlight. It's not so easy to get the lighting right, but with a bit of practice it will be no problem. So now we are finished. I only scratched the surface with this little tutorial. There is a lot more you can do with iClone. There are a lot of tutorials you can watch, just go to the training website from Reillusion or check out the official forum. There you will find more information. 